Hey guys, today I am at Valve Studios. It's here in Thessaloniki in my hometown. Uh, this is a place where we usually rehearse with a band. I even recorded a couple of albums here. And uh, today I, I'm here to uh, do some setup on a couple of my guitars. And this guy right here behind me is Jimmy. This is my guitar tech. Hello everybody. Yeah. Jimmy, uh, I've been working with Jimmy for the past 10 years, I think. Yeah, almost. Yeah, and we've gone around the world for many, many times. We've been uh, everywhere together, I think, Jimmy, right? Japan, everywhere. Austra everywhere. Australia, America, yeah. everywhere. So, yeah, I trust Jimmy with all my guitars, and uh, we've been uh, fixing a couple of things here, and we're gonna talk about it, but also Jimmy's gonna give us some tips about guitar setups. Let's get to it, let's see what we have here. So this is uh, my uh, Star Jackson Custom Shop. This is actually my first guitar, the first, uh, not, the uh, not the first prototype obviously, but this is the first Finnish model that uh, I got from Jackson. And I brought it here to Jimmy because there was a little bit of a, a br uh, well it was like a little bit of a so-called battle wound from touring uh, this part here as you can see. It was, uh, it was rosewood. Was, yeah. So you had to, it, it broke. Uh, it came off, yeah. and, and um, I think it was from a flight that we did in Europe a couple of years ago. So basically, you put some glue in there, and yeah, then wooden you glue. Let it, yeah. You let it dry for about a day, and now the guitar is back in business, right? We need to put back the nut. Uh, we need to clean it, the old glue here, stick it again. Yeah. And put the strings and set up the instrument. Okay, that's great. All right, so new strings are on there. Uh, we use DR Dragon Skins, ten to fifty-two or ten to fifty-six on this one, I think. Okay, so after you put new strings on, then we, we stretch the strings. Right, so let's stretch the strings. This is something you have to do always, otherwise the guitar is going to be out of tune. So. You have to stretch the strings like that. I think you have to. For I me, hold, I hold the first um, fret, yeah. Fret, and I'm doing this like with uh, the thumb and the fingers like this, and, and then you break the string. Yeah, <laughs> if you break the string, <laughs> and you put new strings on. Yeah. <laughs> we have many strings. Right. It's great. Like, yeah, I hit the strings like that because you need to getting cold a little bit because of the. My f and um, I'm checking the tune in the plane position, not like this. Right. Yeah. So there you have it, Rebecca. So, Jimmy, uh, have you ever had any big issues tuning up the guitar? Well, when we were on the road, did, did it ever give you any hard time or? I don't remember. I mean, we we we've, we've gone through all kinds of temperatures in venues, but yeah, uh, when we arrive to a venue and it's very cold or very hot outside, and uh, the trailer or the truck. Uh, I mean, the during a show. I mean, during yeah. a show. What? Ah, during a show. Usually, we have uh, the, from the midday the instruments. We open. Keep. We open all the cases, and uh, we have to keep uh, the instruments in the temperature of the venue. Yeah. Uh, especially a couple of hours before you hit the stage. Yeah. That's the most important because the differences, I mean, if we take uh, the, um, uh, the the guitar that you have at your uh, dressing room for yeah. warming up, yeah. and we put it outside and it's uh, an air conditioner or something, yeah. Yeah. it's a big problem. Maybe you're going sharper for the, with a the cold and... Uh, right. uh, so if you guys have ever heard me play out of tune during a gig, it's not my fault. It's not his fault. Yeah. It's the venue's <laughs> fault. Okay. Exactly. That's what I want to say. Uh, how how do we um, set up the how do we adjust the truss rod on the guitar? I mean, how do you know when to turn clockwise and when not, or when to yeah. turn the uh, other way? So I'm looking the instrument from this side of uh, yeah. The fretboard, yeah, and uh, 
Do you press down on the 24th? Yeah, I can. I, I usually press down the 24th and the 1st and uh, I can see if uh, we have a, a backwards or a forward uh, bow here. Yeah. If uh, it's a forward bow like it's right now, we need to turn uh, here the truss road that we have here. We take off this. We take off this. Yeah. And we have to, with an Allen key, we have to uh, turn it a little bit uh, clockwise, yeah, we have to find. Sometimes you need to, yeah, take off this, and uh, so you yeah, we do this. You turn and a quarter. Yeah, or? just a quarter for us now. Okay. Thanks. Okay, Jimmy. Yep. Tell me, how? What's the height on my strings, and how do you adjust that? After we have the straight bow that we need, yeah. as straight as we need it. Uh, I have this tool here, yeah, and, and I, I put this here to the 24th. Yeah, and what is this, like uh, one millimeter? Two millimeters. Two millimeters. At the, uh, I think low, the standard the one is 1.5, the standard one, or or two? Two millimeters is the standard one? I, I don't know what's the standard, yeah. actually. Yeah. I know how we, we use here um, two, and here we use uh, one and a half or one uh, and something little higher than one millimeter. Okay. It depends of how we, how, how you want to feel the bends and yeah. that. Okay. How can you change the height of the strings? On this guitar at least. The height of the strings change from here. From here. Right? We usually put in the tailpiece a little bit higher. We don't want to have here very angled uh, string. Okay. So we, we need we use this. It's 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 better for the sustain and everything. Okay. Sounds great, thank you so much. It's fantastic. <laughs> but what he's saying now. <laughs> Or the, the, the high of, um, of the, the pickups the pick is up yeah, yeah. yeah it's after the um, the our action we, okay we check the high of the pickups because if we have very high our pickups maybe it's, uh, we have problem with uh, the intonation uh, now we are they are almost uh, adjust but uh, we just measure here where we usually uh, have them. The high and you can erase yeah. like you can raise it or yeah, take it down like or that, take yeah. it down from here. Yeah, just uh, always this is higher than uh, the the, the bridge. Like, the pick bridge up, pick up the, is sorry, the bridge is always higher than always the next higher. Pick. And what's okay. what's after that? After that, uh, the last uh, uh, step of uh, our setup is to check the intonation. How do you check the intonation? Uh, the intonation is uh, you, you hit um, in a play position always. Yeah. You hit uh, the open string uh, the tuner. Yeah. I think you hit the string and then you have to hit the harmonic. You, you hit the string, you check, you check the, um, the tuner. You're checking the tuner. And. Um, Where's the tuner? 
Okay. This is a tuner. <laughs> we hit that 12. 12 fret. Fret. And now we. So we it should be the same. Yeah, but um, with some tuners you can't uh, see that exactly. You have to hear also. Yeah. You to, you have to hear it, and it depends how you play. If you, how is your playing? But. Well, right now we are a little flat. And then what you do, you, you take the cables and you... Okay, that's it for me today. I hope you got some useful tips about the guitar setup and I hope it helps you. Let me know if it does. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and turn your notifications on and I'll see you in the next video.